Hello everyone, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 5 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios Playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to load all the ADLS folder names and count of files present inside each folder into SQL table using ADF pipeline. So let's see the use case in details. So as you can see, we have these many folders present in our st uh, storage account. Okay. So inside these folders, we can have uh, multiple files or multiple subfolders. Okay. So we want to retrieve the folder names in our ADLS account and load it into SQL table. Along with that, we want to get the count of each files or folders uh, or subfolders present inside these containers or folders. Okay. So inside my demo uh, folder, I, I have six files. So I need to load that data in the SQL table. Similarly, for other uh, folders, what are what is the folder name and what is the count of files present inside each folder? I want to retrieve that I, and I want to load it into my SQL table. OK, so uh, I hope you got, got the idea. What is our use case? We want to get all the folder names and count of files inside each of the folders and we want to load it into SQL table using ADF pipeline. So let's see in practical how to do that. Okay. So let me go to Azure portal and here let me show you my storage account. So I have these many containers uh, or we can for simplicity let me call it uh, as these many folders and inside these folders I can have uh, subfolder or I can have my files directly. Okay. So you can see in my ADLS input container, we have uh, seven files. Okay. And in my ADLS output container, we have three files. So similarly, there are six uh, containers and inside that we have uh, multiple um, resources that is multiple files or folders. Okay. So I want to retrieve the name of these uh, folders and I want to get the count of files present inside these folders. Okay. So how to do that? So let me go to ADF portal and start creating the pipeline. So let me hit on new pipeline. And as we have discussed, to get the information of any folder, file or container, we need to use get metadata activity. So let me drag this. And then in the settings, let me create a new data set pointing to our storage account. Okay. So let me use ADLS Gen 2 and here let me select any of the file format let me select uh, CSV for now and in this linked service I am selecting the linked service pointing to my ADLS account and here in file path I am not going to select any of the folders ok I am just going to hit on ok it means we are uh, just creating this data set pointing to our storage account ok and not in any of the containers or folders ok so let me just click on ok so now our data set is pointing to the storage account ok and here in the field list let me add new argument and here we will use child items so that we can get the folder names from this storage account ok so now let me debug it and we will see if we are getting the list of folders present in our uh, account, storage account or not. So let it get completed. Yeah, so our get metadata activity execution is completed. Now let me check the output. So you can see inside child items property, we are having the list of folders present inside our storage account. So you can see ADLS input, ADLS output then demo sorry demo demo folder and dev and test dev and test so we have exactly the same data which we uh, we are seeing in the storage account okay so we are good inside each of these folders we want to check how many files are present okay so what we can do is we can iterate through each of these folders using for each activity so let me use for each activity here and let me connect these two activities and inside this for each activity in the items I will point the get metadata output so that we can iterate through each of those 
folders ok. So, here in we will choose uh, activity dot output dot uh, child items ok. So, now we are going to iterate through each of these uh, folders ok and inside these folders I want to know how many files are present ok. So, let me go inside this for each activity and then let me use another get metadata activity which will iterate through each of these folders. So, it means it will go inside each this folder once then it will go inside this folder. So, like this we need to uh, get the information inside each of these folders. So, for that I am using another get metadata activity and in this uh, settings we will use data set pointing to each of the folders. So, my data set should be parameterized. So, let me create a new data set pointing to the gen 2 account and let me take a CSV format. I can take I can take any of these formats because I am pointing to the folder not the file. Let me select existing linked service that is pointing to my storage account and in the file path let me keep it as blank because we want to parameterize it ok. So, let me hit on ok and let me reopen this uh, data set and now let me go to parameters and let me create a new parameter called folder name ok and let me use the same here uh, in the connection tab. So, let me point to this uh, newly created parameter. So, now our data set is parameterized for folders ok. So, let me go back. So, now we have to provide the value for this parameter that is for the folder name. So, as we are inside this for each the folder name is nothing but the output of this uh, get metadata activity which we are iterating in this for each. So, we want to get this name property. So, we will have item dot this is the item right we have uh, pointed our uh, item to be um, get metadata output dot child items. So, basically this array is being uh, treated as our items and we have to give item dot name to retrieve the folder name. So, let me go inside this and here let me give at the rate item let me select from here at the rate item dot name. So, this will point to the folder name dynamically for each iteration ok. Now, we have to select this field list. So, we are iterating through each of the folders and then we will get the file names present in each of the folders. So, for that we will use child items again ok. So, uh, one by one iterating through each of the folders we are going to get the uh, file names present in each of the folders. So, let me just debug this pipeline till this point. So, that we can see if this is working fine till this point or not. So, let us wait for this execution to be completed. Yeah, so it is currently going on. So, you can see the first get metadata activity is giving us all the folder names ok and iterating through each of the folders we are going to get the file names present in each of the folders. So, you can see this is one file name if I click on the input you can see for the demo folder we are getting these many file names ok and it is having a subfolder as well. Similarly, for test folder we are having these files ok. Similarly, for all the other folders for ADLS input folder we are having these files ok. So, we are good now. So, till this point we are good we are getting the uh, file names for each of the folders, but we want to get the count of the files not the name of the files. So, for that what we can do is let me go inside this for each and let me use filter activity. So, we do not have to filter anything, but what filter activity does is it actually uh, provides the item count and then it provides the filtered item count. So, it means it will provide out of 10 records uh, after this filter condition is met we are going to get only 2 records ok. So, those informations we uh, can get using this filter activity. So, let me uh, write expression in, in this ok. So, inside this item I want to mention the output of this get metadata 2 ok. So, let me go down and let me select get meta 2 get metadata 2 child items ok. So, let me hit on ok. So, now our items is pointing to the output of get metadata 2 
activity okay and in this condition i don't want to filter out anything so i want to give an expression that will always return true okay so what i can give is i can give that if the a container name is not empty then give me all those records okay so for that what we can do is there is something called not okay there is a not um, function which will return boolean result and here we can give if item dot name is not empty then just give me all the records so if the container name or the folder name these folder names are not empty because we are inside this for each so we are getting uh, this as the item name these item names so if this is not empty then just give me the record okay so let me debug till this point then we will see uh, how the data looks like so let's wait for this execution to be completed yeah so you can see uh, inside for each for all the folders uh, we are getting the file names and then for each of those file names we are getting output for the filter activity so let me check output one by one so you can see uh, the item count was 3 and after filtering out we are getting three records so we are not uh, actually filtering out anything okay and you can see uh, basically we wanted to get the count of the item so uh, from here we will get the count okay and these are the file names okay similarly for other uh, folders as well we are getting the uh, count okay so either we can take this one or we can take this one as well uh, it is same in our case okay so let me go inside this for each and now we want to load this data into sql table so in my sql database i have created one table called dbo.count of files where i want to load folder name as well as count of files so currently i don't have anything in this table i want to load the data into each of those columns okay so here let me use lookup activity to perform that job i can use another um, activities like uh, script activity or stored procedure activity to do this job but uh, for simplicity i am currently using lookup we will talk about those activities later in upcoming videos so let me go to settings and i have one data set uh, that is pointing to my azure sql database okay so here let me write a query okay what it will do is it will just perform insert into the table called dbo.count files let me copy this and what we want to insert is we want to insert select let me give under quotes we want to give at the rate what is the first uh, column it is folder name okay so folder name how we, uh, from where we are getting it is nothing but item dot name right let me go back so our folder name is nothing but item dot name right so let me provide here item dot name okay so this is going to give us the folder name and why we have given uh, quotes because let me just write down a query here let me give insert into dbo dot count of files and let me give some dummy uh, data as suppose a b c d this is the folder name and then the count of files is 5 so let me run this so if i select from the table now this is the data we are getting so basically we want to have quotes here because this is a string or varchar value and the second one is integer value okay so here no quotes is required so let me truncate this table now truncate table dbo dot count of files okay so i want to have the query like this so because of that i am giving under quotes and then at the rate and i am just converting this into a string so that's why i am giving uh, the curly braces okay and here let me give comma and the second value that is this value count of uh, files from where we are getting we are getting from the filter activity output okay so let me go back as i sh have shown you uh, we we have the data in items count property okay so let me copy that and here 
let me give that in the curly braces okay before this i want to have this one activity dot filter dot output dot item count and as this is a integer value as you can see our uh, uh, column is an integer uh, column so here let me provide int of activity uh, dot output so yeah we are good we have formed the query so now our dynamic query is ready but what we are missing is we are writing this uh, query inside our lookup activity right but lookup activity is always meant to uh, fetch out the data or uh, give some output but here we are inserting some data and it is not giving any output in return so for that let me just give a semicolon and write select one as output so this is just to uh, avoid the failure of lookup activity okay so now let me debug and let me wait for the pipeline execution to be completed meanwhile let me remove this and let's wait for the data to be uh, loaded here in this table so currently the pipeline is running and you can see first get metadata activity has given us the list of all the folders okay these are all the folders and then inside for each we are iterating through each of the folders and we are getting the file names present in each of the folders okay so we have total in six folders and we are iterating through six folders so that's why we are having six get metadata to activity running right and then inside uh, the forage itself we are getting uh, the count of uh, the items that is count of files present in each of the folders okay and inside this lookup we are just writing down the uh, data to our sql table and uh, this is just returning uh, a dummy value so that this lookup doesn't fail okay so our pipeline execution is completed now let me go back to sql table now hit, let me hit uh, this query and you can see the required data is present so we have six folders in total and here you can see it is matching it is six folders and if i go inside each of the folders in adls input folder let me go inside this and let me count the number of files you can see one two three four five six seven okay and the same value is present here now similarly let me go to adls output and three well three uh, files are present here and here you can see for adls output three files are present now similarly if i see demo uh, there is one subfolder which will be counted here and there are one two three four five five files so in total six uh, count should be there in demo folder so for demo folder six count is there so we are good similarly let me cross check for others so for this one demo fol we have one two three four five six seven seven in total so let me check so it, we are good okay similarly for dev we have one two three four five six seven eight okay for dev we have eight and for uh, test we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay in in total we have ten uh, files and subfolders so this is how we can retrieve the folder names and the count of files present inside each of the folders so i hope you like the content that's it for this video guys uh, please please try to practice this if you want to uh, have hands on in adf pipelines uh, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet please hit on bell icon to, uh, to get any notification if whenever i add videos so uh, please stay tuned thank you